One special point on the titration curve is when we are at halfway to the equivalence point. So using the calculation that's shown just above that we were looking at in the last video, uh, at the halfway to the equivalence point, we're going to have an equal amount of HA and A minus. So we'll have equal amounts of our weak acid and weak base. And this is regardless of whether you're titrating a weak acid or titrating a weak base. Uh, and so we know from the henderson hasselbalch equation that's a special point because at that point the pH will be equal to the pKa because our log term... Oh, I keep bumping stuff here. Let's see if I can... Oh, there we go. But our log term, we're going to have you know, 5 out of 10 over 5 out of 10. And this term is going to go to 0. So at that point, the pH is equal to the pKa. And this gives us a way to, if, we can, if we're measuring the pH in the titration, we can actually find pKa values for acids and bases this way. So that halfway to the equivalence point, we can use that fact that pH is equal to pKa, uh, use that to find pKa values. And this is something that, uh, that you need to measure the pH throughout the titration, but, but if you can see the, the equivalence point, you can find that halfway point, what's the pH at that, of that solution at that point, and, and there's your pKa value. So this is something that's uh, a useful property of uh, acid-based titrations.